Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you needed to revert a commit, only to realize it wasn't as straightforward as you thought? If that's you, you're in the right place. Today, we're diving into how to unrevert a previously reverted commit in Git. I totally get it. Reverting a commit can feel like a double-edged sword. You want to clean up your code, but you also want to keep your options open for the future. You're not alone in this struggle. Many developers face the same dilemma. Let's set the stage. Imagine this. You have code that shouldn't have been merged into your integration branch. You revert it using Git, but now you're wondering, how do you bring that code back later? One user asked, what do I do when I'm ready to accept that merge again? Sound familiar? Let's explore this together. So what happens when you revert a commit? Essentially, Git creates a new commit that undoes the changes of the previous one. But when you want to reapply that commit later, it can get tricky, especially if other commits have been made since then. Let's break this down step by step and stick around. At the end of this video, I'll share a quick tip that will make managing your Git commits a breeze. To begin the process of unreverting a commit, the user should first identify the commit hash of the reverted commit. This can be done by checking the commit history. Next, the user needs to create a new branch from the current state of the integration branch. This will allow them to safely apply the changes without affecting the main branch. Now, the user can apply the changes from the reverted commit. They should use the git cherry pick command followed by the commit hash they noted earlier. After successfully cherry picking the commit, the user should resolve any conflicts that may arise. This is an important step to ensure the code integrates smoothly. Finally, the user can commit the changes and merge the unrevert branch back into the integration branch when they are ready. This will reintegrate the previously reverted changes. Fun fact, did you know that the first version control systems were created in the 1970s? They were much simpler than Git, but they laid the groundwork for what we use today. It's amazing how far we've come. Now, let's look at the answers provided by other users. This user suggests a method for reverting a previously merged commit. First, use the command git revert m1, followed by the commit ID to revert the merge commit. This creates a new commit that undoes the changes. If you later decide to remerge the changes after fixing any issues, you can simply use git revert followed by the commit ID of the revert. This will reapply the changes from the original commit. Here's that quick tip I promised. Always keep a backup of your branches before making significant changes. This way, you can easily revert back if something goes wrong. And there you have it. You now know how to unrevert a commit in Git. Remember, managing your commits effectively can save you a lot of headaches down the line. If you found this video helpful, hit that subscribe button for more tips, and don't miss out on our next video where we tackle more Git challenges.